Hi everyone. This week or a couple weeks ago, a TikTok by Madison X Alexandra went viral. <laughs> Brought a lot of people to A Bra That Fits and the Facebook page and the Reddit page who were very new to the idea of finding a bra that actually works for them. The most common questions that I've seen all have to do with shape. There are really comprehensive guides out there, uh, especially on the A Bra That Fits. Uh, resources page that will walk you through exactly what every single different aspect of a size means, how to identify it, and all of that. What I want to do is provide a really nuts and bolts, simple, easy way to figure out your breast shape if this is your very first time approaching this topic. I am guessing most of you are not bra scholars, but are here to find a bra that fits you. <laughs> if you are a bra scholar, welcome. You're free to hang out as well. I probably just won't have new information for you. Brush shape is a really important part of the conversation that often gets left out because it doesn't directly correlate to size. But if you have spent your whole life trying to find a bra that fits, never finding one, somehow the bras are too big and too small at the same time, you were recently told that you're actually a triple D and not a C cup like you always thought you were, and just in general you've never felt like a bra really fits you perfectly, really like clicks with being comfortable and looking right and not moving throughout the day. So a lot of this does have to do with size, but a lot of it also has to do with breast shape. So if you've tried on things that you've been told are your size and you've been like, this is way too big or way too small, but the wire fits, you're just not filling it out or you're overflowing, then that's gonna come down to your breast shape. Today we're going to look at projection, the root of the breast, and the fullness of the breast. That's essentially how big is your breast compared to how much it connects with your body, and I'll explain that more in detail. Where does your breast connect to your body? And then what does your breast kind of look like? Are you, are you fuller on top or fuller on the bottom? We're going to dive right in. Projection I think is the most confusing, so we're going to start with that one and get that out of the way. Um, and these ideas are all kind of interconnected, but again, I'm gonna try and <laughs> I might kind of over explain it. I'm gonna give different examples, probably too many metaphors, and uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna dive in. I'm gonna read the definition from the a bra that fits page. Projection is the overall amount of breast tissue you have compared to the area of your breast root. The root is the place where it attaches to the chest wall. Generally speaking, shallow breasts have tissue spread out over a large area and projected breasts have tissue concentrated above a root with a small area. When it comes to projection, you are looking at a spectrum from shallow to projected. We're going to take a look at a couple of different ways to visualize projection. One of them is from that TikTok that I mentioned by Madison X Alexandra. It explains in a really succinct and clever way how two people of the same size can look like they have very different size breasts. A breast that is rooted to the chest wall over a small surface area will appear more projected. It can therefore appear larger than a breast of the exact same volume that attaches to the chest wall over a larger surface area. One other way to explain this concept. There's nothing quite as refreshing after a nice long day as a nice cold glass of visual metaphor. I'm actually not going to drink this because it's for demonstration purposes. These are each eight ounces. This one is a lot taller and this one is a lot squatter. So the base of this one is smaller, the base of this one is wider, um, and that makes them look like very different sizes. I'm kind of nervous about this. In reality, They're the same size. They hold the same exact amount of water. Volume is not a perfect one-to-one -one explanation of cup size, but it's really the closest we can come. So volume is what we're gonna what we're gonna talk about today. So in this example, we have a more shallow breast. So this one has more area on the bottom. So even though it's the same amount of breast, it doesn't come out quite as far because it's more spread out over the root. And then we have a more projected breast. So this one has a smaller area at the bottom um, and it's going to come out a little bit farther because of that. That is my <laughs> other explanation of how projection works um, and how you can end up with breasts that look really different but are actually the same size. A lot of the time people with shallower breasts tend to think that their breasts are much smaller than they actually are. I wore a 36C for years and I even got professionally fitted as a 34D and after a few months of working at the specialty bra shop I worked at 
I was like, something is not quite right about this, but I'm not sure what. So I tried a double D and I was like, this is a little better. And then I tried a triple D. And uh, it really depended on the bra, but when I was actually trying on bras that were made for my shape, I realized I was a triple D. And I never thought that, because I really thought that I had very small boobs my whole life, and I was like, triple D is big. This is a myth, as I've mentioned before on my channel. So your projection can really shape your perception of your breasts and how big they are. A lot of things when it comes to bra sizing have to do with proportionality. And this is partly because if you are comparing Comparing someone who's 38 inches around to someone who's 28 inches around, you're gonna have a really skewed idea of their size. So instead you want to compare the size of your breast, the projection of your breast, to your own body. In this case you're comparing how much breast tissue you have to the root of your own breast. So this has a really big impact on how bras fit and can be especially confusing. So I want to break it down and talk about just some common issues that come with each one. If you have shallow breasts, you likely have problems such as not filling out the top of the cup on bras. Bras seem like they're both too big and too small, and you've been wearing a B or a C cup, but you're now finding out you should be a triple D. One thing that's very important, and I'll probably talk about this when I do my how to take care of your bras video, is um, the swoop and scoop. Scoop and swoop? It's just how you put your bra on, and I'll link some resources about how to do this. Essentially, you want to lean over, pull your tissue into the bra as you put it on. Everyone should do this, but if you are shallow, um, and there are a couple of other things where it just becomes especially important that you do it. It makes a really big notable difference. And the other side of the spectrum is projected. If your root is relatively smaller and your breast tissue is more concentrated, you might have issues where your bra slides down your body or you've ended up with wrinkles at the bottom of the cup. And that just means that the bra is too shallow. It doesn't, uh, it's not steep enough. There are resources that are good for finding bras for shallow breasts and also for projected breasts um, linked from a bra that fits. Now we're going to talk about the root. I mentioned before that when we're looking at this glass, uh, the base right here is where it attaches to your chest. That is called the root of your breast. Basically, the entire part of your breast that is attached to your body. If you have wide roots, they might go farther back onto your side, um, and if you have narrow roots, they might be more forward and centered on your chest. If you have wide roots, that probably also means that the scoop and swoop is especially important. The, the only thing you need to know about the root is where is breast tissue versus where is just your body, your body fat, and all of that. If your wire is sitting on your breast tissue, the wire is too short for the root of your breast. You need it to capture the whole, the whole thing. And sometimes that means finding a shallower bra so that you're able to fill it out while still having uh, a wire that comes back far enough. And finally, we're gonna talk about fullness. I think this is kind of a simple concept and realistically, I think this is what most people think of when they think of breast shape. Either more full on top or more full on bottom. This is obviously more complicated than just one or the other. So here is a little uh, image explaining that that I think does a really good job. And you can also find information on this on the Abra That Fits resources page. But you want to think of this <laughs> like Kim Possible versus Bonnie. That's a joke, but it's also kind of true. <laughs> Generalizing, Kim Possible would be more likely to be full on the bottom, Bonnie more likely to be full on the top. If you're fuller on the bottom, you probably have more of a tear-shaped breast. And if you are fuller on top, you're kind of rounder all around. So if you're full on the bottom, you might have issues where you're not filling out the top of the cup of your bra. And again, this often leads people to try and buy bras that are sizes too small so that they can fill them out. But again, <laughs> this is something where you want to find a bra that fits right for your shape uh, rather than changing the size and sacrificing comfort uh, and support for that matter. If you're full on top, you might have had issues with the uh, bra cutting into your tissue at the top or spilling out. If you're really not sure, you're probably not too intensely on either side. I think people generally have a pretty good idea of whether they're full on top or on bottom, but if you're really not sure, check out more half cup demi bra styles because they just don't come up as high, so they're much more suited to many different kinds of fullness. That is all I have for you. I really hope that this 
helped. The thing about shape is I feel like you want to feel free to explore it at whatever pace makes sense to you. So there are a lot of these kind of daunting terms that ultimately are really helpful. But if you're just getting started, really all you need to understand is how your breasts interact with certain shapes of bras. Maybe long term these terms are going to be really helpful in diagnosing those things, but the first step can be you diagnosing what issues do I commonly have with bras? Why? What shape works better for me? Um, and if you kind of start with that mentality, it'll become easier to pick up different information about sizing and everything as you go. And I feel like it can just be a little bit more accessible. I learned about all of this very much just intuitively because I was doing bra fittings. I never got taught any of that stuff that I just told you until a couple years later when I found a bra that fits and started reading up on stuff and I was like, oh, that's why. So I kind of knew intuitively what, but I didn't know why. And I think that that can help in the beginning, starting with a little bit more of a what, saying what are my problems? And then maybe that's my bra is cutting in. I never fill out the cut anything like this. And then that will make it easier to understand the why as you start doing the reading, the more technical reading um, and looking into these terms. But also realistically, again, I'm sure most of you are not boob scholars uh, and you can probably just get by figuring out your own shape and what shapes work for you. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, I'm linking resources down below that will explain things more in depth. If you have a pretty good idea of your shape, you can find lists of bras that are good for your shape on a bra that fits. Um, and also feel free to ask me any questions and I will try and answer them. And that's all I have for you. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.